also at today's hearing, nutty Jerry Nadler caught again spreading more conspiracy theories about the 2020 election, actually claiming the Attorney General Bill Barr and President Trump were fueling more violence as a campaign strategy. Bup, 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 bup. Crazy alert. Take a look. You really can't hide behind legal fictions this time, Mr. Barr. It's all out in the open, where the people can see what you are doing for themselves. The president wants footage for his campaign ads, and you appear to be serving it up to him as ordered. In most of these cities, the protests had begun to wind down before you marched in and confronted the protesters. You did it here in Washington. You did it at Lafayette Square. You expanded to Portland. And now you are projecting fear and violence nationwide in pursuit of obvious political objectives. Shame on you, Mr. Barr. Shame on you, you liar, conspiracy theorist, Jerry Nadler. Here with the reaction, Fox News contributor, former Republican Congressman Trey Gowdy. Well, the talking points were all the same, uh, uh, Trey. Uh, I'd call you a congressman, but it's an insult at this point after today's shift show. Uh, but I'm watching this today. They all regurgitate the same line. You are doing this. There is no violence. That's a lie. Do our, you know, do, do all these, you know, over what, 1,500 police officers injured, many more, some blinded, about, oh, well, now I think we're up to 16 dead. Uh, is, are, are my eyes deceiving me, Trey Gowdy? Well, Sean, if politics is about contrast, we have contrast for November. Do you want the anarchy that you see in Portland and Seattle, or do you want a country where everyone is safe and secure? What you also saw today is what a serious grown-up attorney general can do for this country, and it makes me wish and wonder where we would be if he had been the AG from day one, if Bill Barr had been the president's first AG. And as for Jerry, you know, crazy Uncle Jerry, now you know, Sean, why the Democrats kept him hidden in the attic during impeachment. They didn't want him anywhere near impeachment. And for anybody who wondered why the chairman of judiciary had no role in impeachment, today you figured it out. You know something? We, he actually said the idea that this is violence in these cities is a myth. Uh, claiming, you know, and then you have all these liberal Democratic mayors that have destroyed their cities, both in terms of safety and security, their educational systems are the worst in the world. And they're out there spreading conspiracy theories that 100 federal agents, in most cases, protecting federal property and federal courthouses, that somehow they're responsible for the violence, for example, that has been going on in Portland and Seattle forever, six straight weeks, almost two months now in Portland. Uh, that is not... Donald Trump's fault. They reject his help, but he does have an obligation to protect federal property, and they are doing that job, and they are being injured and blinded as a result. Yeah, it's his number one obligation. The number one obligation of government is public safety. What I wish Nadler would do is go find all the, the homicide victims and their family members in New York. Go find the parents of that one-year-old that got killed and tell them that the violence is manufactured. Go find all the homicide victims, in, Jerry, in your own backyard and tell them that the violence is manufactured. Do you, with all we now know in terms of what is out in the public about, let's see, uh, Hillary Clinton's uh, Espionage Act that I believe 18 U.S.C. 793, the fact she deleted subpoenaed emails, bleach bit hammers, uh, premeditated fraud on a FISA court, abuse of power, corruption, oh, by the seventh floor of the FBI, all the names we've often discussed. Do you have, Trey Gowdy, any doubt that they abused their power, that they had premeditated fraud on a FISA court, and that they sought to impact an election and take down a duly elected president, because I have no doubt, and I'm trying to understand why Durham has taken so long at this point. Well, I have no doubt. I would say two things. Number one, you mentioned Horowitz twice. I, 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 I hope your viewers are wondering why the chairman of judiciary has never called Michael Horowitz as a witness. You know, Horowitz found misconduct in law enforcement, too. It's called the FBI. Why has the chairman of judiciary not called Michael Horowitz for the past year and a half? 
But point number two, we, I hope John Durham issues his report, and I hope it's fair and fact-centric. But, Sean, we don't need John Durham to know what's on the ballot in November. I don't need John Durham to convince me when that the FBI no, didn't meet any of our they expectations. they get held to the same standards as all the other people with process crimes? How Soon do you I lie hope. to a, a court hope. when you were told that the evidence is unverifiable? It says at the top of a FISA warrant verified. How do you get away with that? I hope you do not. I hope John Durham will so prove that, that Lady Justice it. is blindfolded. All Let's right, be patient. Down. Justice is slow. Slow? Yes, sir. Okay. I think snails Sometimes. are faster. All right. Thank you so much.